Welcome back to Techno Babylon. We're waiting to meet up with Lau, and somebody's just thrown a strange bottle through the window that says drink on it. I don't feel like that would be Lau that would do that, so I don't know what's up with this, but I really don't want to drink it. The bottle is some kind of thermal container, about half full of thick liquid. The words, drink me, are stenciled on the side. Down the hatch. What the hell did I just drink? Hear me? Oh. Hello? Who's there? Barely, can you hear me? Barely. It is from Lau. I can't see you. Where are you? In your head. Ah, so there's like... Uh, was it wetware? No, it wouldn't be wetware because there'd be nothing to connect with because Regis doesn't have any of those like neural implants. But it, it was something that allowed her to connect with me, I guess. That bottle I drank. That's what did this? Exactly. You ingested a wetware builder node colony. Mm. They were programmed to construct a transceiver in the small bones of your inner ear. You've apparently found me already. Why talk to me this way? Security. There's a pretty big crisis about to land right on top of you. My location's been compromised? I'm afraid so. There's a strike team surrounding the building as we speak. Damn. We need to get you out of there. The sewer access on the factory floor hasn't been secured. It's your best chance for an escape route. If what you're saying's true, I'm about to be outnumbered and outgunned. Don't worry, you're probably one of the few people I know who's smart enough to get out of something like this. Do you know me? You could say that. Come on, get moving. Oh wait, that's not Lau? Oh, I thought that was Lau's voice. Apparently it's not. The wetware in the bottle has apparently given me an eavesdropper in my skull. You still there? I hear you. Perhaps it was my mistake first for drinking that bottle, but how do I know I can trust you? It's either me or the guys with the kill on sight order. Besides, what sort of person would I be if I didn't help out an old pal? Do I know you? You should. We've spent years working together. Is this Lau? Come on, you've got to get moving. So, is it actually Lau? Maybe she's not saying just to protect her identity in case somebody's listening in? Like, I thought it was Lau. I just assumed it was Lau, and it kind of sounds like her. It's hard to tell through the, you know, the radio transmissions don't exactly have the best sound quality. Eh, whatever. No matter. Guess it doesn't actually change anything. You'd better get moving or a patrol might catch you. Right, right. I guess some things you just have to store physically. Looks like this guy had a place to keep his vices at work. <laughs> Cigarette lighter. I'm sure within 10 minutes I'm gonna have 10 things in my inventory. A painting of a glowing pyramid hanging over a city. Despite the other decoration that the walls of this office has acquired, this picture remains unvandalized. An old office terminal. I'm kind of surprised nobody's stolen it yet. Does it still work? Hmm. 4,000 days since last update. Let's see. An evacuation is currently underway by order of centralized government. Please proceed to designated shelter sites. At your management, dear Mr. Hart, while it is clear there are doubts about the firm's policy of mechanization as a means of remaining competitive, it is unhelpful to suggest to employees that they are building their own replacements. Please refrain from such comments in future. Subject locker room. I guess you're right. Since there isn't anyone changing out of hazard gear anymore, nobody else will be using the locker room. It's going to be one hell of a working weekend. I'll put the stuff in Locker 6. Codes 381. Ooh, that is important. Locker 6. 381. Subject... Something? 
which Zift decided it'd be a good idea to run water pipes over a million quanta industrial laser. I fixed the leak in the locker room's pipes, but don't charge the capacitor banks unless you feel like being cooked. I'm probably going to need to use that too, huh? So there's water pipes over an industrial laser. Gonna have to do something with that, but I'm not quite sure what yet. Hmm, power control. Link to external device. No charge flow routes found. So do that and then power up sequence. Yeah, see if we can turn this stuff on. Don't know if I should have turned that on. I didn't think powering it up would just make it start shooting a laser into the wall. You'd think there'd be some safeguards in place. Okay, well that's all good. Must have been a decorator. Hmm. One of the city's custodial drones. Someone must have hacked it and directed it up here. Lousy kids can't even do their own graffiti anymore without a bot's help. <laughs> Using a maintenance drone for graffiti. That's amazing. It's the fire safety system. Probably hasn't been used in years. There's a canister of water-soluble fire suppressant loaded into the system. There's a canister... Can I make it spray paint instead? Huh. It fits. <laughs> I don't know what good that is. I guess it's going to allow a fire to continue and also going to paint everything some color. I don't know which. I wonder if it even still works. I guess I could make it go off by doing this. Cool, that did nothing. Wait. What is it? Uh. Cobalt Actual, this is Cobalt 3. Dynamic entry complete. Second floor always secure. Going dark and starting patrol. Mount. Adaptive camouflage. How am I supposed to get past them when I can't even see them? I'll see if I can breach their systems. For now, you're going to have to think your way past. Well, the point of the paint just became immediately obvious. <laughs> Try to camouflage your way through this. I've been sprayed with paint from <laughs> from the fire suppression system. They've been trained to deal with that, right? Okay, uh, I feel like I should save it. Just like I feel like I might die. It's weird that they didn't think, hey, the person is probably doing that on purpose. Like, did they really think that was an accident? That the fire suppression system just happened to activate right then and there and sprayed paint? A little bit too much of a coincidence. Oh Wait. god, get back, get... Target sighted! Yeah. I need to use the fact that I can see him. Yes, I realize that, thank you. Just wanted to look at the crates, I didn't think he would actually go out into the hallway. Whatever's in there, there's apparently four gross of them, whatever that means. I don't think I have enough time to get into the locker room. Possibly, if I followed him as he's walking back, I guess maybe. Because he stays there for like two seconds, one, two, yeah like two seconds. Let me try to mess with the crates for right now. The wood's old. Really? <laughs> he looks at the crates and then he just like walks to get killed on purpose. I need to use 
All right, let's just try... Well, hell, just try stunning him, right? There we go. One down. However many left to go. Don't count on taking them all on, though. Low velocity, jacketed hollow point. They came prepared for a soft target. Mm, got the gun now. Let's hope I don't have to use it. I think they call that a dynamic entry. Good name for blowing a hole in the ceiling. Okay, so we're looking for locker number six. Lockers. Whatever they did here, it apparently needed specialized gear. Hmm. Which locker is this? I don't see a number. Oh, it's actually the only one I can use, so I guess that has to be locker number six. 381. Apparently, it's not just cleaning supplies they kept in here. This is some pricey liquor. Polish in a bottle? The hell am I going to do with this stuff? A metal polish from the cleaning supplies. It's been here for over a decade, but it doesn't seem to have dried out. So I can polish metal? It's a strong old whiskey. More expensive than the stuff I've usually got around. Okay, and I've still got the lighter, so maybe that's strong enough to make a fire. A 10 millimeter submachine gun, part of the strike team's gear. As a signature weapon, it's encoded to only operate for its assigned user. Hmm, so I can't even use it. What good is it then? Let's polish the gun. I can't get it cleaner. Damn. Oh, no, no I didn't mean to drink the whiskey, Jesus. I needed that. It's powerful stuff, but it won't do anything useful there. What if I can make like a Molotov with it? Uh, I don't have any fabric though, so... I haven't got the gear to fix it, or open it up some more. I wonder if anything's made a nest in there since they stopped using this place. There's nothing in here. They've probably become even rustier because of all the water. Ah! <laughs> Damned water! It's poisoning me! It's rusted stuff. It's rusted stuff. Okay, so if I can make a crack there, I could have the water maybe go down to the laser or something. But I can't use the gun. That won't fit. That won't. Uh, I don't know what to do with it yet. It's empty. Probably missing something I, that I need. What's all of this? Bunch of androids? Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Target sighted. Really? Could you not have stopped before getting killed? Okay, so I have to do something with him from up He's here. He's keeping watch over the factory floor. Let's throw a bottle at his face. I don't think we can settle our differences over a drink. Not quite what I had in mind. This stuff will be flammable but it won't burn in the bottle like this. So I need to pour it into something, I guess. It's powerful. Hmm. I still think a Molotov would be a good idea, but again, I don't have any fabric. Where would I get fabric from? I think I'm missing an item. Unless... No, I can't threaten him with the SMG. They'll know that I won't be able to shoot it. The wood's old, but I still can't get it open by hand. Oh, maybe there's something inside of them. Hmm, I don't really have a tool, though. SMG? 
That's one way of getting it open. <laughs> that works. It's empty, except for all the packing material. Ooh. That, yeah, so that. I can make a Molotov with that. Huh. This takes me back. I've even got more packing material. What a waste of good whiskey. I wonder how long it burns till it explodes in your inventory. <laughs> Well, that person's permanently disfigured, probably. Oh god. Save. There's a laser. There's the crack. From the shower room, or the locker room, rather. Will they freak out if I walk in here? Target sighted! I'm guessing I need to use the laser to get them to leave. And there's a factory floor door, which is ultimately where ultimately where I need to go to get into the sewers, right? Hmm. I probably can't zap you from here, can I? Damn, it's out of charge. Ah, balls. A metal polish from the a fiber used for packing. There's nothing in any of the crates besides this stuff. Anything more valuable has probably been stolen over the years. Don't think I can do anything there yet. Let's keep going down. It's a long way down. I need to find a better way out than that. It worked for the guy who was burning to death. Okay, you're on the factory floor. There's an emergency access route to the sewers in the corner of the north wall. Sure, except it's locked. What? This can't be right. Yep, big padlock and everything. Any other ideas? I'm afraid not. The crisis team's got the factory surrounded. That's your only route out. I guess I need to find a way to get the lock off. Wait, so if this is the factory floor, then wasn't the other door also to the factory floor? This is a pretty heavy-duty padlock. Maybe it was an attempt to stop vandals getting in. Even if it wasn't a heavy-duty lock, the mechanisms have rusted shut. That's the way back to the optics lab. Oh, the optics lab. So this is where the... Yeah, so the door to the factory floor from the optics lab leads up here to this balcony, which though would then allow me to go through the large doors to who knows where. Hmm... Maybe the robot arm could get rid of that padlock. Looks like there's a control panel for it. This is where synthetics are born. Can I pull Whatever up an arm, maybe? Is, building a synth apparently takes a lot of them. How many metal circles do I need? A dull metal disc. I have no idea why it's needed in a synth's construction. Hmm. Guessing I need to polish it, but I don't really know what for. Maybe to direct the laser somewhere else? That's brightened it up. Eh, there's no point in doing that yet, though. Because I can't even get into the laser room without being shot. It's nothing like the drones and synths of today. Less personality. Nothing to argue with. My kind of bot. Are you kidding? If anything, that arm would pick me up. Got a feeling this thing's not going to reach the lock, but let's try. Manual control locked. Please consult the line supervisor for access. Shit. Hmm. Maybe I need to get up there through the large doors to be able to do that. To give me access. Okay, I think I need to do something in the optics lab. Or something up in the... the locker room. I can't do anything with the metal disc here, though. 
Maybe it's the laser itself that I need to direct to the padlock. But if that's the case, then what's the mechanical arm for? Hmm, how do I deal with you? Can I pretend to shoot you? It won't fire for me. It's a locked signature weapon. Yeah, that wouldn't work. They know how their weapons work. They're trained in them. I could turn the power back on and hope the laser shoots, but it's going to shoot down there. Um, it's not going to do anything for the crisis agent. Judging by the frequency and nature of the warnings around the room, this machinery must have been exceptionally hazardous to the human eye. Alright, well, if I turn the power on and that causes the laser to temporarily fire for a second, maybe I do need to set up the polished disc right now. Where does it shoot through? I don't see a hole. Because it was shooting into the ground and it looked like it had already kind of like worn a hole through the through the ground or the wall. But I don't see anything. That's probably what the robot arm's for, huh? Probably to hold this disc? Yeah, but I doubt it's in the right area. I'm sure I still need to move it. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get it to fire again, the laser, and let's see what happens. Make sure I'm not missing any selectables. Nope. Okay, so can we get it to fire again? Just by doing the power-up sequence? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Didn't do much. What about link to external device? System startup can now be enabled remotely. Ah, okay. Looks like I can control the factory's power from my traveler now. Oh, hey. Voipcom. How did you get this number? Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> I called Dragon. <laughs> 911! Did they change the number for the police? Damn. Okay, do I have anybody's number that I could call or do anything about? Uh, I can't think of any. Hmm. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Maybe I can, um, maybe I can fill up the drain with the packing material and it'll overflow and go through the giant crack. I've stuffed the drain. There we go. Okay, let's get a look at what's going on in the optics lab now. I'm guessing there's going to be a puddle of water going to the person's feet, which means I can remotely access the laser, cause it to go off, and it looks like the wires were sparking, so it's probably going to electrocute him. Mm-hmm. So let's just, uh... Let's just remind ourselves of everything we've done to these poi... Po poi? What? These poor crisis agents. The first one I just shocked, which, you know, that's unpleasant, but I guess not the worst thing. The second one, I threw a flaming bottle of flamingness into his face, and then he jumped out a window, undoubtedly to his death. So he died from burnery and fallery, and this person I'm about to electrocute to death. I'm such a good person.
Please die now. Thanks. It's an industrial cutting laser. Looks like they had a little misfire. Can I move this thing? Hmm. Emergency cutoff, short circuit, and power supply. Oh, this thing is pumping out way too little power. Hmm. Danger unsafe, indeed. Well, okay, let's look at this. So it was set for calibration or silicon wafer. What's the lock made out of? Stainless steel? Aluminum? Mild steel? Plywood? Wait, you're telling me it takes more power to go through plywood than it does mild steel? What? That can't be right, can it? Uh, let's go for titanium. Then again, what's the metal disc made out of, right? I need something that's not going to melt through the metal disc. It needs to melt the lock, not the disc. Mm, let's just try mild steel. Let's not get too crazy. That's not going to work. That's not. That might not be a good idea to touch him. There's a risk the current might come back on. Okay, hopefully we can disable the lockout, the manual lockout up here. Uh oh. Oh, is this a hide behind it in the right time, right order thing? Let me save it. It is, isn't it? Oh, come on. There ain't much cover between me and... Okay. Oh, I can switch direction. Good, I was wondering how I was gonna get back to the other side. Manual operation unlocked. Switch directions. <laughs> that person's not going to question it at all. Just, yep, it just reversed directions. That's just what happens in this abandoned factory that's for some reason still running. Totally normal. Oh, I've actually been doing a damn good job with the puzzles in this place. I'm really impressed with myself. Now let's see if I can shoot a laser into my eye. Don't try this at home, kids. Will it go through the wall? Oh wait, it's gotta go through concrete to even make it through the wall, right? Yeah, shit. Alright. I mean, it's certainly eaten through the wall a bit, but I guess not entirely. Because it ain't coming out the other side. Let's just go for concrete. We don't have to go for danger unsafe. Well, you know what? I can actually... I can actually just test it right now. There we go. Okay, so we've got the hole, but now we need to tone it down, I'm sure. So now let's go for mild steel. Oh 
Yeah, this is the first time I've actually done so many little puzzly things without getting stuck. This feels good. Whoops. Get back on there. It's already made a hole through the concrete. It didn't even make it through the concrete, but there's already a hole. I don't get it. Alright, set it back to concrete. I'm just gonna melt through the disc though. No? I guess it was shiny enough. So, wait a minute. What happens if you turn it all the way up? Let's go test that in a second. Does it like melt a hole through the universe? Let's uh, save the game first. Power system's lost. The subsystem prototyping laser has been disconnected from the grid. Oh. I'd better not be walking into an ambush. I haven't let you down yet, have I? Yeah, so it is Lau. Regis! It's good to see you in the flesh as well, Lau. What do you mean, in the flesh? You weren't the one sending messages through a transceiver in my head? No, she wasn't. Oh, it isn't, Lau. No, I wasn't. You thought I was her? Well, it seemed like that. Seemed like what? Who are you talking to? I... never mind. So, you've been getting help from... the voices? Isn't that usually a sign of stress? Huh. <laughs> it's someone communicating by radio. Someone who knows me, apparently. But if it wasn't you... Definitely wasn't. I just found the message you left in the DNA. Don't worry, I'm someone you can trust. Not so sure about her, though. There's an interceptor riding her wiring. Uh... Max, the voices say you've been bugged. What? Wait a second. Ah, nuke an interceptor! They probably found out where you were as soon as she did. Can you disable it? Easily. Now that I know it's there... Okay, it's isolated. I can confirm that. They won't be tracking her any further. I have no idea when it started writing me. Must have been while I was investigating the, uh... the murder at the plant lab. It wasn't me, Max. I know, Regis. I didn't think it was, but... But? You're the only person I can think of who would have wanted him dead. And frankly, I don't think anyone would have blamed you after what he did. But after what you tried to do with the bomber last night? What about it? You tried to save his life. Even though he'd come here intending to murder as many as he could. It was the right thing to do. I've worked with you long enough to know how you work, Regis. What Baxter did didn't drive you to revenge. It's motivated you to try and make the world a better place. Thank you for your opinion, Max. You're probably thinking more clearly than I am right now. What do you think we ought to do next? I guess turn yourself in isn't an option? No. Well, we need to see if we can find out who really did kill Baxter. And why they've sent a strike team to hunt me down. If I might interrupt your happy reunion, I believe I may be able to help. You can? How? The voices again? My organization is aware of links between this attack and Dr. Baxter's murder. What? How? I believe we must discuss this somewhere more secure. 1181 Shenley Boulevard, Southeast Network, 16th floor. Come around the back. We need to find out what's going on. You seem to have a better picture than us. And I guess you've been looking out for me so far. 
You say I know you? And I you, Charlie. All right. We'll come. Leave Dr. Lau. Come alone. No. Pardon? Lau comes too. She's the only one I know I can trust right now. Aw. Mm, very well. See you soon, Charlie. Twenty-four wow. years Looks earlier. Like Vargas pulled together quite a team. There's Regis. Okay, it's gotta be her, right? Because this is the team that Charlie was working with. And obviously in the rest of the team there was Viksha, who was murdered by Baxter. And then there's Baxter himself. And then there's Chigwa. But that voice is definitely not Chigwa's, so the only- it's it's a woman's voice and it's not Chigwa's and it can't be Viksha because she's dead, can't be Chigwa because it's not her voice, so it's gotta be... Giona? Charlie looks uncomfortable. You can't blame him. It's not the kind of lab environment he's used to. Nobody's threatening his life. <laughs> That's his normal lab environment? Hello, Charlie. Oh. What was that for? I'm not sure. I was just worried you weren't going to come. Don't be silly. Of course I was going to be here. I know. I was just afraid. Hey, there's no need to be afraid of anything here. Unlike your last job, there's no firing squad for motivation. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... It's hard to believe all that's behind me. Not only do I have you to thank for getting me out of there, but getting me into this role as well. All I did was mention you to Dr. Vargas. He knew what he needed, and you fit the bill. Obviously, he knows talent when he sees it. Hopefully, he likes my work. He can't exactly go to the Texan warlords for a reference. Well, that's a good sign. Now you're the one making jokes about it. Dr. Baxter is apparently a workaholic, having gotten underway with the project even before having been briefed. Hi there. I'm Dr. Pereira. Yes. I, uh, thought I might get to know who I'm going to be working with? Oh, right. Certainly. Adam Baxter. You enjoying the, uh, MRI scanner? Ah, yes. Forgive me. It's just been some time since my last lab work. After the accident, no institution would take me. I feel as though I may wake up and have this dream of an assignment taken from me. Don't worry. Dr. Vargas is an excellent judge of talent. I can guarantee that this isn't merely out of pity. This is something of a last chance for me. We must succeed. Yeah, I still don't know the details of how Baxter killed Fiksha. So I guess that's what we're probably about to find out. Doctor, is it Zhang? It's probably Zhang, isn't it? Doctor Zhang and Chigua are in the midst of a fast-paced discussion. With their completely different fields, you reckon it's likely to do with something outside of work? You must be the famous Doctor Pereira I've been hearing so much about. Famous? The way Doctor Vargas has been going on, you must have been his star pupil. You're right. I'm Vixha Pereira, Vicky. Doctor Vargas mentioned me. Wouldn't shut up about you. Like you were Watson, Crick, and Einstein rolled into one. Or more like Oppenheimer, perhaps. Hey, what we did before isn't the key point. It's what we can do with the skills we've brought with us. All right then, what's your field? Organic computing, mostly. I studied under Dr. Vargas. Ah, we've probably got some overlap then. You look familiar, Doctor. Nina Jong, pleased to meet you. AI and synthetic awareness studies. I remember. Dr. Vargas was a big fan of your work. He's assembling his dream team. That's what you get with an absurdly huge grant. Not that I'm complaining. And you are? Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. My friends call me Gwen. I was brought in from Bulawayo. What was your field? Embryonic baseline engineering. She's a real artist, building new animals from scratch. Angiosperms, mostly. Still not sure why I'm here. You got any idea what's going on? Come on, you're the only one of us who's met Vargas in person. Do you have any idea what's going on? I couldn't help you, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, you're killing us. You expect us to believe he didn't tell his star pupil. 
Well, I might know. But I know how theatrical he can be. It'd mean a lot to him to be the one to reveal it. Whatever it is, this is some impressive hardware they've got. That and the secrecy says government work to me. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. As you look around, you will see some of the finest scientific minds of this generation. These minds have at their disposal the most cutting-edge tools available to humankind. Newton has decided like an increasing number of cities to invest in AI management. But they want no mere computer to run traffic patterns and coordinate electricity grids. They have asked me for something infinitely more advanced. They have asked me for the future. I have selected you for this venture because I believe that together we can make this future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Central Project. This is the place Jinsel said to meet up at. Ugh, what a dump. The city just gets worse and worse every time I leave the trance. I'm guessing we're gonna get to see little bits of all the people working on the project until we finally lead up to the, the accident. Or the murder? Was it, was it an accident? Well, if you went to jail for murder, then it couldn't have been an accident. So yeah, leading up to the murder of Viksha. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna go meet up where Jensel told us to go.